It appears the legal news is tightening more on the suspended head of the Police Intelligence Response Team, IRT, Abakiari. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, has filed fresh charges against Kiari, who is standing trial on cocaine-related charges alongside four members of his former unit. In the fresh suit filed at the Federal High Court in Abuja, the NDLA is pressing 24-count charge against Kiari after accusing him of non-disclosure of assets. 14 assets traced to the embattled police officer have been seized. 14 assets. Majid, Deputy, was it? Um, Commissioner of Police. Is a DCP. Deputy Commissioner of Police. Yeah. 14 assets. Yes. Can you just give us a breakdown of those um, assets? I, I think the dilemma will probably be now is whether to allow himself to be uh, tried. Uh, not to, no, to be tried abroad uh, or to be extradited or face the music here because now when I looked at the chart sheets, he had 207 million naira in UBA. The salary of a deputy commissioner of police, I doubt if it could be more than 250,000 naira. It's 250, it's more than, it's yeah. 250,000 naira. So he has 270 million naira in UBA, 17,000 euro in a Sterling Bank, that's not even much. Then he has some, as, I mean, in that level, as a, as a management level in the police, you feel the code of conduct uh, bureau where you declare your assets. But then they have discovered that in the, in the former field, he didn't give disclosure on some of these properties. Blue Fountain Estate in Abuja. Then he has an estate on Linda Shoka. Uh, street in Asokoro. Asokoro. Asokoro in Abuja. Then he has a shopping mall. Uh, an estate and it, in and, Abuja. An estate now, in Abuja. In that Asokoro is the oh, eyebrow this, area. Oh, these are allegations. This, uh, yeah, we were just well, dissecting his names, it. his names are on these properties. I know. But he didn't disclose. Well, allegations, fine. Then he has a shopping mall and a polo playing ground. It's like somebody having a golf course. Or a stadium. Or a stadium. So, a very, ask, a very rich cop. DCP, our, our, our star boy. I mean, when he, I, I recall when he apprehended uh, uh, Evans, uh, the, uh, the, kidnapper. the kidnapper. Of course, we have his own date with history on uh, September 19. You see, we were all clapping for him. But this cocaine issue came, and from, uh, from leave, he went to execute. I don't know, a sting uh, operation, uh, which uh, was uh, busted by the NDLA. And I said kudos to the NDLA. I don't see this as wish hunt, because if you were to be wish hunt, I mean, I would say pr probably if you find uh, 10,000 naira in his account in uh, UBA or maybe $1,000, but $207 million and a shopping mall and an estate in Asokoro, I think he should explain to Nigerians where he got this... Uh... GKB, I think there's something wrong with our system, fundamentally. Yeah. The, that's the system that we allow the um, Accountant General to have access to over 100 billion naira. Yes, you might say that he wasn't involved alone, but for that fact that that kind of thing can pass through that office, uh, we run a very... I, 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 I don't understand the kind of system that we allow police officers to have access to this kind of money. Any, any officer of any, do, do you understand? And moving forward now, when we are looking at it, is there no way we can, there's a kind of check mechanism within the police force that they can check their officers? Because he was the head of IRT, busy running after kidnappers, busy, you know, catching Boko Haram guys. Mm. And if you are saying he was at the same time enriching himself, it's going to be a very long answer because I have to go back to history. Because you asked a very fundamental question. It was not always like this. Right, until maybe around 75, 76, people were very proud to be in the service because they know they will live to be 60 years and get their pension. When the Murutala Mwembe government came and sacked everybody, 
from people in their 40s who had no other skill for civil service. This started to happen. People now realize that they have to take care of themselves because the system will not take them down. That is the long story. The short one is that Yoruba said, it's a little who led me. People at, that, at a certain level should not be allowed to have assets beyond what they signed. Don't forget, there was a time a former of states had to explain where I got the money to buy a 504. That's when the Nigerian army or the police were still functioning. They have a place called SFU. Special police. Yeah. They're Special supposed to take care of things yeah. like this. Mm. They have an internal police system. They also arrest officers. All these, of course, have been distorted within the system. The case of Akiari is peculiar for two reasons. He was promoted very fast. So he had to jump certain levels. And so a lot of people just overlook things that they would do to other people coming to that rank. But like Majid said, allegation or not, there is no way you can explain this away on salary of three million a year. Because if your salary is two fifty, that's three million a year. Uh, is it not eating? No, let's is say it doesn't even spend, mm, let's, let's assume it does not spend the common. You just keep it in the bank. Three million a year to get two hundred and seven. To get thirty million is ten years. <laughs> to get sixty to get sixty million is twenty years. Twenty years. To get ninety million is 30. so he has to work for about fifty years. And it's another fifty. <laughs> Even if he start working at from the from the day he was born, <laughs> he started earning two fifty per month. You will see not have made two hundred and seven million. That's the problem. And that's face. aside from the shopping malls and uh, Asokoro. No, even though <laughs> that's Asokoro. In Asokoro. Also, get a plot of land in Asokoro. You and I know what it entails. How much did you buy your own there? <laughs> no, if, 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 I, if I told you, I have to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> now the, the 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 case here now is that. If he's going to stand trial here, I think it's better for him to stand trial here. That is we have him. Yeah, um, it's really a sad scenario, especially for a super cop like uh, Abakiari. I lost my respect for him uh, the day the NDLA played that tape, that which video. we just saw, that video we just saw now. I mean, somebody we held in high esteem. I know the number of times we have celebrated him here to the extent that the lower chamber of uh, the National Assembly, the House of Representatives, mm, honored, him. honored him, gave him a standing ovation mm. for doing a human job. Mm. I mean, he has mm. taken part in several uh, successful, operations. successful operations. So, unlike the one I mentioned earlier, but for him to be going down like this, I mean, calls to question um, our, uh, I mean, uh, generally, I mean, uh, for all of us as Nigerians, that a lot of things are wrong. Okay, mm -hmm. I have Olawale from Ikorodu. They are not what they seem. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, Wale. Hello, good afternoon, how are you? Good afternoon, Wale. Yeah, good afternoon. Ah, you know, my gift. GKB. Thank you very much. I just want to comment briefly on the... I just want to comment briefly on the first uh, topic you treated. Okay, go ahead, please. The what is causing all this incessant collapse of building is one impunity and corruption. Impunity in the sense that oh forget how can somebody go and remove stop work order? They will say, I know the commissioner, I know Mr. Governor, I know the permanent secretary, we have the negative connections. That's number one. Then, unless you solve the problem of corruption in Nigeria, I know, mm. you are going nowhere. How can somebody have the infantry? Look at the people that have died down. Is he going to wait there? It's not because uh, Samuel Osibono died in the Koyi uh, disaster. We won't know. Why don't you remove the name of the, that contractor? Tony, every Tom Dick and Harry is now a developer. Mm. He's now a developer. You know, only the brick layer. They are developers. God bless you. Thank you, Wale. Thank you, Wale. That's to, to, to be regulated. So, we are talking about this fight against um, corruption, and um, in, even this must be extended to our security guys. And we've been hearing, if you remember, when this kidnapper, what's his name? 
that Evans, famous one, uh, Evans, Evans wasn't. Yeah. He kept saying that, look, what was declared was different. What was uh, taken from his home was different from what was declared. And but nobody listened to him because it's just a condemned thief <laughs> <laughs> as, as an actor, well, a kidnapper. <laughs> let him let him go and prove that in court. Because, but, in court. But, but yeah, but, but then, as at that time, the sentiment <laughs> was that, oh, you wicked man, no. I cannot speak for. At the same time, I cannot speak for other parts of the country. But I know at a point in this part of the country, if you come with something that you cannot account for, your parents will be the first to shout. Like I said, I cannot speak for other areas because I don't know that what's in this area that I, I know. But now, people have societies for mothers of uh, Yahoo Yahoo boys, and they have uniforms. In a state that I will not mention, a family without somebody neatly, a female person neatly working in the ranks, as you know. That family is cost. Because you must have somebody somewhere doing the job, the oldest profession in the world. Or else people not respect you. So our values have gone down drastically. Nowadays, it's the ends justify the means. And unless we stop that, unless we start taking people for what they can offer, not the money that they have, we will not leave. Because the young boys are looking at us and they are saying, Why should I be like my dad? He works very hard, he has only one car. He has not left Nigeria before. But yet, I see my brother coming back. He has, to, he has been to everywhere in the world. Our value system has been distorted. And we have to go back to basics. If we don't do that, no matter the amount of preaching that we do here, we not change the reality of that reality. Get rich quick uh, syndrome. Yeah. It's not, uh, but when you, uh, we still talk about very, very honest officers, we still celebrate sure. them every day. And sure. um, Abakari was meant to be a role model, somebody that. Uh, uh, would, would somebody that to, broke the mood. Yeah. yeah. People so are like, look up it's to. I want very, to be very painful, very painful. Very that, painful. That um, the NDLE had to do this job because we have this kind of feeling that the police. Um, uh, hierarchy. Hierarchy. Yeah, they needed that hard evidence to be able to nail him. I mean, for, for Nigerians to believe, because there is no way they could have uh, told us that story without that video evidence. No, even me, I won't believe it. Yeah. That you know, Abaki Ali is like a saint to all of us. But they came out with that. And I so said, after that video, they, they now started stumbling into things. What are things? Yeah, because uh, the police authorities actually uh, handed him over to the EFCC. I mean, I think it's the FCC that is now uh, 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 prosecuting him with the NDLEA. So a lot of uh, things have been unraveled, and I think more are still coming, uh, because, uh, like I said, allegedly, he had some other things that are hidden under other... Uh, these are the ones that can uh, be proven. This one, these are the ones that are traced directly to his name. Even within the EFCC, we've had assets, you know, being relooted and no, everything. No, that one, they, so how can one, this they are notorious for things of that. That one nature. happens uh, mm. on a daily basis. Yeah. Like, like, like uh, GKB said, our values have been eroded, and uh, and it, right from the from the home, where some parents even encourage their uh, wards to go uh, to sit for exams at uh, uh, special special, centers. special, special centers, centers, so to say. I mean. Um, the other day, a parent called me. I've been looking for my daughter's phone. That he found it with his son. That he said, "No, I didn't buy this phone for you." I I, I requested to meet that man, and I I mean, today we are, we, we we've been very good friends. That yeah. he he called me. He said, he saw, he saw my phone, my name on that phone. And I've been asking my daughter, "Where did you? Where is your phone?" He said she couldn't uh, find it. So the man called me. I can imagine. But another parent would have seen, ah, this is a bonus for my, <laughs> for, my, for, my son. for my son. Mm. But he called and he punished the, the, the son for that. Mm. So this guy, these are the kind of values that we should uh, uh, preach as parents. And that's why we are having these serious issues on our hands, that people want to get rich quick. Okay.